What's happening everyone? Welcome to part two of the Dragon Castle attack video. We're not doing this one live. The live feed I left off at this stage right here. Uh, and it looks great. And I want to finish up the dragon, but I want to get these turrets done, the tops of the turrets and these window frames done before the live feed. Uh, or the live feed's going to go on too long. And I don't want the live feed itself to go on too long. I want to get this stuff done because it's pretty repetitive. Uh, and I figure I can record this while I'm doing it, talk it through a little bit, do a little time lapse, and that will help the video tonight. Because the video tonight with the live feed is going to be the dragon face and the chains. And hope to get the color uh, so we don't have to go to a full part three. But we'll see how that goes. So, in the meantime, let's get to the turrets and get going. So, like I said, this is the areas we're doing right up here, these turret areas. And because they're radius, and we're going to be have this is the main light source here, we're going to get an arrow in what's kind of hitting what, okay? So, when you get to these turrets, the light's really hitting these side pieces here, 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 and here on this side. And then they're hitting the face here, here, and here. They're not really hitting this. So we're going to pull these, then this, and then this. So we're going to pull in like this one's catching light, this one's catching light, that's shadow, shadow. So there's going to be differences, and I want to plan that ahead now. And same thing, the light's going to come up here, and it's going to hit this kind of inner wall first, because there's also flames and fire in here, okay? So that's kind of what I want to talk about. Uh, and just kind of plan this stuff. Then when we get into the chains later, obviously, you got light sources hitting chains here and here. And we're going to talk about that when we get to the chains in the way they hit. Because they're not going to hit like a normal top-down light source, okay? So, we get into the turret here. Uh, I am going to switch to my multi-view. And let's just take this one here. And let's just zoom in. On these top ones here. I'll focus that up a little bit so you can see. Okay, so what you're gonna notice is like I said, I'm doing these. I'm popping these ones out first. So I'm gonna hit those white. Alright. So real simple. So I'm gonna skip, 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 skip. That's pretty much flat. I'm gonna pull these guys. One, two, three. Right, scratch too much for this one's I'm gonna pull it even though it's not getting hit much but it's getting hit a little bit okay all right so those are getting hit and whatever I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the opposite on the opposite side okay, so those are the ones we're hitting really simple. I'm going to hit them pretty light. It's not going to take a lot. I'm hitting with the white. And try not to get too much inside. It's very little. It's 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 not going to take a lot. But it'll have a nice little effect. And if you want to make it brighter than the actual brick area without having to do a full remask, you can just take an edge like all my pocket graphics like this. We can just hit them a little sharper. Okay, that's, I think that's actually going to help quite a bit. just to get a separation from like the brick face. Just to get it sharp. I'm going right to the white here because I think it's going to warrant it. Now I can pull the face and leave the side shadow ones. You know, it's going to have the opposite effect. You don't want them up here. I'm going to grab these two as well. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. 
It's a little tricky up here. It's a little tight. Take your time. Now, keep this really small. Keep your brush thin. And paint on the stencil very lightly. Okay. I'm not even going to hit these. I mean, this side, maybe towards the end you can. And if you want to get like a little tighter, you can come across these like this. And just, just cut across them like those bumps are picking up. Like if you really want to get tight, you can do a little bit in here, but I would probably venture to wait to the end on that and see how we like the look of it. So I'm going to do this again. Even, whoops, went a little too big right there. I'm actually going to take my electric eraser here and just, I did a little blowout right there, a little too much. I'm going to put a little soft shading in there like that. And I just a little bit down the bottom. A little bit up here. Okay. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to pull the actual brick face here, the top of the turret. And see how you start to get that. It's lit there. It's not lit on the other side. And now I'm going to light it here. You know what I want to do? I want to go back to my gray on this. Now we're just going to hit up in here a little bit. Make some bright spots and make some brick. You know, noticing that I'm not seeing the edge, um, I think it's going to be easier just to take a curve like this. Yeah, I'm just going to take a curve like this. And just kind of find an edge, and I just want to darken, want to brighten this, so I have that edge to do that overhang. I'm gonna just kiss it a little bit there, so I can see it easier. Pull off this side. Same thing. And I want to keep these tops pretty dark because they're away from the flame. Same thing here. I'm going to get mostly this side. Just some little marks. But you don't need to hit a lot of it. It's okay for it to stay really black up here. Let's see if I can get up there a little bit. So you can see that a little bit better. It's okay to have this side black. It can have a little secondary light off to the side. If you want to just kiss that one side a little bit. And now I can pull out these. You probably shouldn't have did that mist at that point. It would have been a perfect time to wait. But we'll work it all out in the end. You don't really need to do anything at that point. Like I said, if you want to soften it, like, you can do a little bit of that. Soften it out. But that's it. That's pretty much the tops. Now we're going to get into the windows. The windows, I'm going to start with all the inside pieces that are catching the light. And then I'll do some of the outside pieces. Well, that's inside bright because that's a hole. These two little guys here. Okay, see those? These are really small. So if you decide to go a bigger panel, 
you can totally do that make this a big big painting okay keep this really simple a little hole there a little hole there This is going to be the white because I don't want the gray. So my white is definitely a little thinner. And I'm just going to, I'm going to reduce this a lot more. Because I really want it thin. And it may drop the air pressure a little bit. Again, if you want, you can take a pocket graphics and you can pick out some little side pieces and just kind of kiss it. You're not going to see too much here, but you can just pick a couple little windows and just ride the edge of the mask a little bit like that. And that delineation is enough. Yeah, you don't have to get every little one, but if you get a couple of them, it's just going to help sell the job a little bit more. And you can go in, there's another little guy in here. This little one here. Oops, wait a minute, not that one, sorry. Do both sides, try to keep them both at the same time. Very little bits. Now I'm going to pull this whole outer and I'm, like I said, I'm just going to kiss it a little with paint like it's catching some light. I'm going to do both sides. Do a little highlight on the edge. I'm going to come up. Do a little highlight on the edge on this side. And just come up and now I'm just going to keep pulling some bits. I'm going to pull this lower one and I'm really just pulling it. I'm not even going to put any paint down low. I'm just going to put it where there's extra joints. See this? I'm just doing those. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to pull this guy. Now I can pull these because the other face, they're not getting the same amount of light from inside. They just get a little bit from the outside. You can put little hot spots and things like that on it just to help sell it. But really, that's about it. Dust it. I want to balance this out. I'm also going to pull these rings right here. Let me zoom out. I'm going to pull this ring. It's just like a little belt line on the castle. Put a little highlight in it. And now the chains are all painted around everything. Uh, I'm going to save these little flaming torches for the end, these little guys. Let me go back to doing this one. You can keep them pretty dark because you're not going to see a lot of it. It's just more about getting little separations for all different pieces. Make it as detailed as you want. We're gonna have a lot of fire bursting over here, so. And that is where you complete the turrets, and there's gonna be fire coming out. We can bring some coming out like that. Towards the end. All these little, all these blemishes, we're gonna get rid of at the end as well. Reestablish that glow, balance it out. There's going to be a glow on these guys. I can just start where those are going to be. And that 
completes that part of the turrets. I'll zoom back out and you can kind of see it in its entirety. Really completes the castle wall. So all we have left now is the dragon face and the chains and the final color tone, which is most likely going to be, I'm going to keep it mostly in the whites and some blue tones. I want to keep it on a cool tone. And I got some extra masking peeking around over here, so we're going to get rid of that stuff. And just check everything over. And with that, I think we are good. We are ready for tonight. And we are ready for the live feed. I hope you like this little quick video on how to do this. I'm probably not even going to do much of a quick edit to this because I think it went pretty fast. Um, I'm going to get this edited, uploaded. I will see you for the final part two and a half or for really part three because this was kind of part two. Um, this is, this, I'm going to call this 1.5, which is finishing the castle. Uh, we'll wrap it up in the next live feed. Hope you enjoyed this uh, continuation of the castle dragon attack. Dragon Castle Attack, and uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Thanks, guys.